The next thing we're going to do is add enemies, something to chase around the monkey. So this suggests octopus. So I'm going to go down to my choose a sprite, and I'm going to look for octopus. There it is. And it should add the octopus down here. So now I have an octopus. If I want to change the look of my octopus, I can click on costume. And maybe I want my octopus to be purple. I can click on the paint. And I can change the color of my octopus if I want and make him purple. There, now I have a purple octopus. So what we want to do is we want this octopus to randomly move around. Kind of um, just moving randomly around the screen so your monkey has to avoid it. So we need to go to coding. Now remember, make sure you have the right object selected. So right now I want to code the octopus. So I need to go down in the sprite and make sure the octopus is selected. Then I can go back to code. So what I'm going to do is we're starting the game with the same event. When the flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked. And since I want this to go on and on and on, I'm going to use the forever loop again. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to move about 10 steps at a time. So I will go back to motion. I will have it move 10 steps. And I'm going to have if it is on the edge. So I need to find if on edge bounce. So here is if on edge, I want it to bounce. So what it's going to do right now is I'm going to click it to see how it's going to bounce back and forth. Okay. If I want my octopus not to change directions, see how he's flipping upside down? I need to set the rotation style to left to right. Because what it will do, it will help it change the direction. And it, see, it's changing the direction, it's flipping the style, and instead of flipping up and over, it is just flipping on. So you can adjust it if you want. Now, this isn't the most exciting game, it's just moving this guy around and nothing's really happening. So we're going to set it that if these two things collide together, that everything's going to stop. So it's like losing a life. So I'm going to hit stop here, and I'm going to add to my octopus. So basically what I'm going to say is I want if it's touching the cat. Now, if it's going to be under control, you're controlling something. So I need if and I need to make sure I'm on my cat, I mean on my octopus. So I'm on my octopus. I'm adding it right here. So if and I want it to be touching cat. Touching things is like a sense. Hearing, touching, so I'm going to go sensing. So here is touching. I don't have touching cat. Well, this is going to be a variable, so watch. Here's a little arrow. It means there's other options. Oh, now I'm having it touch the monkey because that is what I want. So I'm going to drag it to where the variable goes. Notice a white outline goes on it's going to fit in. If I try to put it in, no white outline, it doesn't go. White outline, it goes. So if it's touching the monkey, then I want everything to stop. So that's going to be another control thing. So I'm going to find stop all. So watch what happens. And then I'm going to add just a waypoint five seconds so I can get my monkey moving before my octopus is moved. So that's a control again. So I'm going to go up to control and I'm going to put it before the forever. So it's going to click. It's going to give me a second to start moving the monkey. So I click. I move the monkey. Notice everything stopped. Let's show you that again. Move the monkey over. See so he's moving around. Nothing's happening. But the minute the foot touches the octopus's head, it stops. Great. Now, we want to add more octopuses, more enemies, to make it more difficult for the monkey. But this guy is pretty big right now. So if we're going to put more, we want to make them a little smaller. 
So I can go to looks, how it looks. And I'm going to change set size. And I'm going to make it 35%. So it's going to be 35% of the size. See how we got smaller. So it's harder for him to catch it. I could also do the same for the monkey. If you think your monkey's too big, I could go here and make the monkey smaller if I wanted to as well. And set the monkey to 50%. So now my monkey is smaller. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my octopus. I want to make more octopuses, okay? The easiest way to do it is you can duplicate the octopus, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, one more thing, sorry. So we wanted to set the size. Then we want to point it in a different direction, okay? The reason why we're going to have a point in direction is just to place the way so that the, the um, octopuses are going to move differently. So I'm going to go to the motion, and I'm going to find point in the direction, and I'm going to start with 90. So what it's going to do, it's like around the like degrees, so if I go up to the top and I click, he's going that way back and forth. Now, let's add another. And the beauty is, is we can add another and duplicate the octopus and it will duplicate the code as well. So we don't have to do this code all the way around and around and around and around and around. So watch, I can right click on my octopus and duplicate. Notice it's calling octopus 2, but it has the same code. Now, I want to change the name of it, and we can call it octopus 1 if you want. If you want them to look different, now I can go up to costumes, change the look. Maybe I want him to have a hat. Okay, now he's got another hat. So there are some costumes in here, but I also could custom color it. So now if I go back, I have three, and if I hit the green flag, they're both doing the same thing, which is not that exciting. So we want to change the direction that the octopus is going. And all we have to do is, see how a point direction? We want to change it to different degrees. So we're going to click, I'm going to make it. 135. That means, see how it's pointing? It's going to point. So watch, when I put different numbers in here, that's the direction it's going to point in. Now this is the direction my second octopus is going to point in. And see how he's moving in a different direction? And look. It does touch the monkey, they do stop. So I want you to add a total of four different octopuses pluses and change the directions. So watch, duplicate again. And I'm going to change this time. I'm going to pick a direction of zero. Point in the direction of zero. And it's going to point straight up. Now, if I want to change the costume of this guy, I can scroll up to the top, go to costumes, and I can change the costume. And the drums, maybe I want to make them a different color. I can pick a different color and fill them with a different color. So you can decorate your stuff as well. So now I'm going to go back to the code. This was zero, and when I hit the green flag, watch what happens. That one's moving in a complete direction, a different direction as well. And when the monkey touches it, it stops. Now, the last one, just for fun, let's make one more octopus. I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to scroll up and go to his costume. And I think I'm just going to maybe put a hat on him or something. I know it's not very exciting, is it? It's a bad hat, but it's okay. What I'm going to do for the code, though, is I want to make it a little bit more variety. So instead of it going a specific direction. Anytime you see this white oval, that is a variable. It is something you can change. A variable is something that varies. So what I'm going to do now is 
I am going to go to operators and I'm going to say I wanted to pick random. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick from random from minus 179 to 180. The reason being is if we look here, here's our XY coordinates. Okay? This will make it move all the way around as far as it can. Okay, so we hit play. Notice the one with the weird thing is just going all over the place. Because we're basically saying move wherever you want. You can pick any random direction. And that's basically how you add enemies to your game. 